Behind you, you have two life-saving devices. You have saving devices. You have a Lucas uh, chest compression device and a LifePak 15, which is a uh, an analyzer, uh, AED, and heart monitor that that's being distributed to every fire department in Jefferson County who so desires. Now, this includes the volunteer fire department your municipal fire departments, and your fire districts. So they, every portion of Jefferson County will have these life-saving devices in hand and ready to save lives. Tell us how this was a good thing that came out of the pandemic. This was a great thing that came out of the pandemic because we were burdened with federal funds that, that we need, were challenged to, to expend for the quality of life of our citizens. And, and given those constraints, uh, we had to search for items that would be able to improve that quality of life and allow our fire personnel, our EMS personnel, to safely engage in perhaps a, a COVID uh, individual. And these enable that to happen and will be durable and hopefully last many times the length of our pandemic. You were saying earlier this improves medical response. What were you saying then? Oh yes, when, when, when your EMS personnel get there, they're, they're able to now administer uh, chest compression and uh, defibrillation and they have an, an immediate analysis of, of the situation and it, it's gonna save lives. You know the the monies that were that were expended here uh, are, are going to be repaid tenfold in in, in the life saving techniques that that we now have available to us here in Jefferson County. The cardiac monitors they do more than defibrillation and uh, monitoring the heart. They monitor the oxygen level, the carbon dioxide level, the blood pressure, and the temperature of the patient. Uh, Really very important with the COVID outbreak as far as monitoring the oxygen level of the patient because that's one of the primary signs that they're going downhill really quick is if their oxygen level is low. Resuscitation of cardiac arrest is really something that we have a very low success rate. Less than 10% of our patients that go into cardiac arrest and walk out of the hospital. These tools will increase that opportunity. We did a study last year where we had 84 cardiac arrests in the Center Point Fire District. And out of those, 45 of those patients had returned to spontaneous circulation, but only seven of those patients were able to walk out of the hospital. Early citizen CPR, we cannot stress that, in a business setting, in our county facilities, uh, in different areas. If you have an AED, that's really great. That saves lives with CPR. Call 911 and start CPR is the best thing that you can do. But these tools make it safer for our responders for places, especially in our volunteer organizations where we have limited people volunteering in our community. Two people can set this up and then go to the more advanced procedures. Works for about 45 minutes, so, and we have spare batteries that will swap out people, so it does make it a little bit safer for everybody involved. It's, you know, uh, from a history of the fire and EMS, there have been different devices over the years. This is leaps and bounds over what we used in the early days.